Yo, what's up guys? My name is Hacky and welcome to the rarest vehicle locations in GTA 5 Online. Now, this one's going to be a little different from the other one I did. That video showcases mostly vehicles you can save in your garage. This one's going to be mainly unsavable vehicles, but you can still use them for things such as roleplay or just messing around with them in free roam, which could be a lot of fun. If you play around with these with some friends in the session, it could be a really good time. You could go for hours. But just before we start the video, if you go on to find these vehicles pretty cool, take a second to drop a like on this video. That would be awesome. Also, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and drop us up because you do not want to miss any more videos like these. We're getting close to 100,000 subs, so if you do want to help us get there, that would be much appreciated. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell as well. Anyway though, let's get straight into it. Alright, now the first vehicle is going to be the submersible. This is basically the mini submarine. And here's the exact location where it's going to be spawning. So it's going to be spawning right about here. Here it is on the map. It's basically the bottom right edge. It's going to spawn either right here on the side of the little pier thing. Or it's going to spawn on the very edge right over here. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what you need to do right now. So you guys can come here with any vehicle you want. It doesn't really matter. So see, they're going to be spawning right over here on the side, as I said. Or you guys want to drive all the way to the edge right over there and so if it didn't spawn for you just drive back to the entrance and then do exactly what i did and here it is so it spawned on the side for us this is the exact spawn location on the map once again i did manage to spawn it in on the side right here more than on the edge over there so i guess it's a little bit more likely to spawn right here but once you spawn it in this is a very very cool vehicle just go ahead and jump on it and then enter it and you could just go exploring the oceans of gta 5 online it's actually pretty detailed like on the bottom and stuff you could legit go anywhere you want with this vehicle it's very very cool if you don't really feel like taking the giant submarine we already have in the game and you want to get this like mini one that'd be a pretty good idea but once again this is pretty freaking detailed you got some plants you're gonna find some fish as well maybe even sharks i'm not too sure you could go in first person it looks even sicker and if you want to get away from oppressors and stuff this is also a great vehicle to do that in now let's move on to the next vehicle next vehicle is going to be the dozer it's basically like a construction type vehicle it's going to be spawning right here on the map so i'm going to drive away a little bit come back and it should spawn right there and i guess i'll just get a regular vehicle that might help and here it is we got the hvy dozer i think that's actually the full name of it you could just freely get in it and then you could like flip cars around or like pick up pedestrians or even players for that matter so you could just have a ton of fun with this it's pretty slow i gotta say but you can have a ton of fun with like the thingy on the front you could just pick up cars just like me here holy crap usually you're only able to like flip them over but i just literally picked up an entire car and it's gonna fall now but holy crap this thing is an absolute monster i'm gonna pick up this suv real quick flip it over just like that so you can pick up cars you can pick up pedestrians you could pick up other players let's see if i can pick this guy up right here oh dang it i just flipped him over again and there we go we picked up a pedestrian let's see what he's gonna do oh my god he just glitched through it so i'm just gonna flip that car over yeah get away from me oh you want to be flipped over as well all right i'll flip you over fine here he wanted me to flip him over too but let's move on to the next vehicle now and by the way it only spawns there during daytime so make sure you guys go to that location during daytime only next vehicle is going to be the police motorcycle it's actually called the wolf's bane so to spawn it in go to this exact location on the map it's on the far right side of the map and it will help you spawn it in if you have some sort of regular motorcycle like the batty 801 right here so not something like the oppressor mark 2 but you want to be in this area during daytime so anywhere from like the early morning time right now all the way up to the afternoon so you guys want to go in this grocery store real quick pull out your weapon point it at the cashier and once the cashier has his hands up you guys want to exit the grocery store and then quickly drive to the back of this ammunition store right here and then turn your camera angle to the right side so you're facing away from the spawn location and just wait a bit till you guys see someone driving in the area and try to search for a police bike so i think we got it this time we finally freaking got it so there is the cop and there's the police bike so just go ahead and take him out and now you have the beautiful police bike it did take me a good amount of time to get this thing it also has a pretty cool siren it's like different from the standard police cars now let's move on to the next vehicle this next one's actually going to be in a custom job i'll make sure to link it down below in the description so you guys can bookmark it and then play it yourself so just go into your bookmark jobs obviously after you bookmarked it in the social club website then it's going to be in death matches and it's called the boeing 747s basically like the jumbo planes you're only able to mess around with this in story mode i believe so it's nice to have this in online or i guess with your online character you don't have to go into story mode and this could be a ton of fun with friends once again if you like doing like airport role plays or specifically being a pilot or just flying overall in gta this could be a really fun thing and you will need at least one person to play with you so just invite any one person really and once it starts up you guys will see you're gonna spawn right next to a jumbo plane these are absolutely huge and you gotta be careful not to blow them up because like every single tiny obstacle you run into if it's a solid one you're gonna blow 
up so now you could just go ahead and take off there are a limited amount of these so make sure you don't blow up too many but you guys should be fine if you're just messing around for 20 minutes you can also put whatever time limit you want at the start these look really realistic honestly there's the adios airlines there's also like fly us and all that besides the planes at lsia there's also more planes in the military base so you guys could just fly there anyway though let's move on to the next one next up we got the dock tug this vehicle is extremely hard to spawn in it might be one of the hardest if not the hardest vehicle to spawn in ever at least from my experience this vehicle is the hardest vehicle i've ever had to spawn in the spawn rate of it is crazy low and it's one of the more unique looking vehicles in the game it's only a one seater and it's actually got some good handling for how big it is it still is pretty slow though but you guys could just drive around in sessions and show your friends or just random players in the sessions how crazy this vehicle is because i bet a lot of people don't know this vehicle exists and they're going to be really confused how you got this vehicle now here's the spawn location of it it's going to be around this like factory pier type area i was just flying a helicopter in the area but you guys don't have to fly a helicopter you can use pretty much any vehicle it doesn't really matter in this case so unless you got really lucky it's going to take a good amount of time to spawn this vehicle in it's a very odd shaped like utility type vehicle and if you manage to spawn it in within a couple of tries i mean hats off to you because that's just actually crazy once again the spawn rate is very very low you're gonna see it either parked up right next to the road or a pedestrian driving it and the cool thing is you can take your moc around with this thing as well so it's like an 18 wheeler and it spawns in anywhere from the early morning all the way up to the afternoon time i'd say you could get it there during most of the daytime but in terms of nighttime it's not there at all whatsoever and now for the next one we got the pagali now this spawns in roughly in the same area as the dock tug as you can see i actually found it using the dock tug and it was just a pedestrian driving it on the main road of the factory pier area i never even knew this was a street vehicle you can see a pedestrian driving but obviously it's too high end of a vehicle so you can't like go and save it in ls customs i bet some people didn't even know this vehicle existed it's actually a pretty cool vehicle it's surprisingly very fast and it's got some good handling too i was very impressed with it you can buy it in the san andreas super autos website for four hundred thousand dollars so it is definitely a high-end vehicle i mean it'd be an absolute steal if you could just find it in the street and then save it yourself next one's gonna be the dump truck it's a super heavy and super big construction vehicle it's gonna spawn in this off-road track here it is on the map it's on the right of the sandy shores airfield in the prison there's a few different spawn locations for it on this off-road track but it's all in this area so just fly around here and just make sure it's daytime too and here it is so this is one of the spawn locations that spawned on the side right here i suggest you guys use these like hills as ramps and then you guys could get like two full-size vehicles on the back or you could get a bunch of people on foot on the back like shooting the police if you're trying to run away from the police obviously it's not going to be super fast but it's actually not too slow for how big this vehicle is but it's got the huge wheels and you could definitely run over a bunch of vehicles oh we actually got a pedestrian driving it too right there so i guess you guys can have multiple oh my god there's two more right there too but yeah this is easily one of the if not the most powerful land vehicle in the entire game next one's going to be the ambulance helicopter it's going to be spawning on top of pretty much any police station it's either going to be a police helicopter or an ambulance helicopter so this is one location it could be spawning at so here it is on the map another police station it could be spawning at is like the one in this area i think it's like about right here there's a police station in this area and then the final one is right over here this is the third police station it could be spawning at and obviously it's going to be spawning on the roof because i mean it needs to be on a helipad and there we go we finally managed to spawn in the ambulance helicopter i personally think this one's a little bit cooler than the police one just because you see the police one fairly often when you got stars on you so i guess you can use this for like a paramedic role play type thing another pretty cool vehicle right here it's spawns in from the early morning all the way to like sunset basically right now i got it at like the very last second i'd say 